Hi, I'm Ryan Dawes, Editor at Telecoms, and today we're going to be taking a look at D-Link's M15 Mesh System. And specifically, we're going to compare it to Linksys's closest competitor, its VELOP Mesh System. Now, this version of the VELOP is a Wi-Fi 5 tri-band, whereas this is Wi-Fi 6 dual-band. We're going to be taking a look at the performance uh, between difference between the two devices, as well as some of its hardware features, like the amount of ports on each node, and as well as some of the unique features to each system. D-Link in particular is boasting about its Eagle Pro AI system um, with this, which should optimize things like channels. Velop doesn't slap an AI label on that, but it does do a lot of smart optimization, um, especially around channels. But it can be quite frustrating at times, especially since there's no manual selection of uh, channels for people like probably you and I who like to tinker and customize the channels for optimum performance. So let's dive in and we'll take a look at the hardware. So starting purely on the aesthetics, the D-Link has gone for this minimalist design, which actually the Linksys has gone for very similar in that it's just a sort of clean white uh, design. So neither of these are like the routers of the path that you want to sort of hide away. You wouldn't mind having these out on the side, at least I wouldn't. Um, so on the port side, it's very, uh, Basic, you just have the two uh, port Ethernet ports here. You have one for internet and one for Ethernet, uh, though both of these can be used um, for linking other devices. Um, you also have a WPS button for linking devices, um, your reset button, and of course a power port there as well. And on each of the nodes, you also have exactly the same. You have two Ethernet ports there. Um, that's, again, very similar to the Linksys, which is why we've chosen to compare these two devices. Um, you can see in there that the uh, Linksys also has the two Ethernet ports, um, a reset button, a power button, and just a on-off switch. Okay, so now we're going to get into what you're probably all here for and do a performance comparison between the two mesh systems um, from D-Link and Linksys. So just to set up the scenario, the, um, our base download speed is around 300 megabits per second. Um, the office is where the router is set up, so that's why on both devices you're seeing the best performance in the office. Uh, the living room is about five meters away, uh, a room away. The bedroom is above the office and the garage is at outbuilding. Um, so in the office we're seeing um, full performance basically from the D-Link and only a very slight drop off from the Linksys um, mesh router there. Um, in the living room is where the more interesting results come in whereas we see quite respectable performance from the Linksys there is quite a large drop off for the D-Link there. Um, when we get to the bedroom again it's a similar story whereas there's about half speeds on the Linksys, but the D-Link um, goes down even further than that. When we get to the garage, the D-Link failed completely, whereas the Linksys only just about managed to get a connection. Now if we take a look at signal strength, then it might start to explain why there was a bit of lackluster performance there. Now both of these systems we've just left on their default auto settings. Obviously D-Link boasts of its AI optimization system. Linksys, as I said earlier, doesn't slap AI on it, but it does essentially do the same kind of smart optimization in the background. Uh, both devices were left for 24 hours so that they could optimize themselves. Um, and you can actually select manual channels um, in their mesh mode, so you're kind of stuck with um, the, the default, which is why we've kind of left them as they are. But uh, despite not being in a heavily built up area, we can see already um, in the office where the router is set up, there must be some uh, noise there, which is affecting the results from the start. With the VELOP, it's still posting a decent enough result, but there is already a drop off with the M15, which suggests that the VELOP might be optimizing uh, itself a bit better. Um, when you get to the living room, again, both devices kind of maintain um, their signal strength, which is good to see. Um, the VELOP, when you get to the bedroom, still posts a decent enough signal strength, whereas the M15, we start getting into territory, which is a little bit more difficult to live with. Um, and then the garage posts a similar um, result to the bedroom um, for VELOP, but when we get to the garage in the M15, it's basically uh, unusable at that point. 
So which is the better system in my opinion? Well, you would think that based on the better average download speed and signal strength of the VELOP, then I would be recommending the VELOP here. And that's kind of what I expected to do. But then you have to take into account that we ran both of these as, a, as their two pack systems. But when adding in the third node to the M15, that actually sorts out the signal strength issues. So a reminder going back to the download speed, it actually posted a slightly higher download speed than VELOP when used in the same room. It was only when that signal strength started to drop off that the M15 fell, fell behind. Of course, using the VELOP system in its free pack version would also improve performance. So I think a price has to play a big factor here. So when we look at the pr current price of the VELOP system, you're expecting to pay around £300 for the free pack. Whereas we look over to the M15 version and Apple price reveal time, we're paying only £155 for a free pack, which is fantastic value for the performance you're getting. So that was a look at D-Link's new M15 mesh system and how it compares to Linksys's VELOP. Be sure to leave a comment on this video with your thoughts and be sure to check out the Telecoms Tech News website for the full in-depth written review. Thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next one.